Hello, my name is uh, David Kent, and I'm head of the Tissel Mall Graduate Program at Wusong University. And I would like to personally uh, welcome you to attend our totally free event and the third annual Spring Symposium that we have held in conjunction with COTES or DCC. The theme this year is post-pandemic practice, tools of the TESOL trade, and there will be 14 speakers working together to provide six live presentations and six pre-recorded presentations for the event. The live sessions will be available after the Zoom Symposium from our English homepage and from our YouTube channel as well. But the pre-recorded sessions can be watched leading up to the event, with one available now and others released weekly uh, prior to the live session day, which will be held on May 29 from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. South Korean time. Zoom meeting ID is 831-8005-7415, and the passcode is WSU TESOL, all lowercase. On May 29, uh, presenters will be scheduled to provide sessions ranging in length from 30 to 50 minutes, including question and answer time. Starting at 10 a.m., these include our plenary speaker, Wayne Findlay, who will detail how to build successful on-demand video courses. Our other live sessions will then follow, and these focus on a wide variety of topics, from that of vocabulary and automated rubric development, through to the use of student-generated content and the place of social justice in the post-pandemic classroom. A closing keynote will then focus on working memory strategy use, and this is followed by our closing ceremony, which will allow you to engage with TESOL faculty while we hold our prize draw, which includes a giveaway of uh, past proceedings books, as well as co-TESOL um, goods. As mentioned, after the event, the live sessions will be hosted online, but while you wait for these to be uploaded, you can check out the virtual presentations. These pre-recorded sessions cover the themes of the past, present, and future of English education, crossing the cultural barrier with communication, the effectiveness of group work, using natural language processing as part of a multi-label question tagging tool, the use of university LMS-based wikis, and the ways in which teacher and student identities have evolved during the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic era. I'd also like to encourage you to visit our English website to learn more about the Wusong TESOL program, as well as gain access to the past and present symposium presentations. You might also like to join our Facebook page and group as well, since we do post interesting teaching tips, aspects of the latest pedagogical approach and research, uh, other items of interest for today's educators and TESOL teachers are also there. If you cannot make it to our free Wusong TESOL Co-TESOL DCC symposium on the day, then do take advantage of the recordings as they become available. Also, if you've not yet obtained a postgraduate degree or one with a specialty in education, particularly TESOL, then we would like to encourage you to get in touch with our faculty to find out how we might help you to achieve this. I hope that you can join us for the entire day-long program and gain benefit from the event as we provide you with another exciting symposium Thank you again, and I'll see you there.